Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday and the start to a brand new week. And there's a lot to look forward to today on FIBA 22 with Team of the Season upgrade packs or player picks most likely dropping today because Mondays are the most common day for those to drop in the game. So we'll talk about the potential of that for today. Other content that we could see to start off our week. And of course, talk about some interesting movements on the market. Now, this is going to be a very interesting time frame today on Monday because this is normally the time where you see a pretty solid market rise after weekly rewards are given out. But of course, with the new schedule for Foot Champions Finals, the rewards are not just given out today. They're actually going to be given out on Wednesday. So I'm curious to see how it's going to impact the market. I do think that some cards could rise, but it might not be like a normal Monday. So we'll talk about that a little bit. And of course, with the content yesterday, including the Boscagli, I think that's how you say his name, the uh, Oliver Olivier Boscagli SBC. This is a really cheap left back that has some pretty solid stats, and he seems to have a lot of hype. I think a lot of people did this, this SBC yesterday, and it's impacted the market a bit, especially in the center back department. So I want to talk about that uh, and how those cards are moving on the game as well. But I'm excited for upgrade packs today because I am going to start. It, it's going to be the start. We need to get the team of the season counter loaded down below on the screen so that you can see how many tots we pack during this promo. But it is just going to be the start of packing team of the seasons throughout this month and a half long promo. It's going to be great. So hopefully we get a good pack today. If you're looking forward to hopefully an 81 plus player pick, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, that's the biggest news for Mondays, right? Mondays inside of promos, we've seen it all year long. Those are the days that we get the upgrade packs or player picks. Now, EA's been very nice recently in the past couple promos. Think about foot captains. We had some pretty solid player picks. I think we had the 80 plus times four and the 81 plus player picks both dropped. I don't know about the 80 plus times four. That might've been like week one of foot captains, but we haven't had that um, in a couple of weeks. Really what I hope for today is some sort of player pick to drop. And I think it's very, very likely. We don't have any leaks about any sort of those things right now. Uh, the leaks have been pretty quiet, which again, is fine, right? We we just drop us some surprises game. We're fine with that. Um, but we don't have player picks out right now, but those were most likely dropping today. Last year, we had the 80 plus player pick um, that was available. And I think that would be a three option player pick. Now, That'd be great if we got that again today. Basically, what I'm hoping for for an upgrade pack SBC today on Monday is something that I can pack both Eredivisie Tots in and the Community Tots cards. I want to have an upgrade SBC that is not league specific or even an eFigs upgrade pack. I really would not be down for that 80 plus times two eFigs pack that they dropped last week during Tots warm up series because that would only allow us to pack cards from the Community team this season and not the Eredivisie squad as well. I, again, an 81 plus player pick or the 80 plus with four options would be literally the perfect SBC for today and for the rest of this week because that would give us a really cheap option for an SBC to pack some of these Eredivisie and the Community Tots cards. And of course, you might be able to stack some of those up for a Premier League team this season starting this Friday as well. So that might also play into uh, the factor of what people will be doing this week on, on the game if that sort of player pick does come out. So if that's something that you're really, really interested in today is doing some of those SBCs, I know there's not a ton of like, besides Icon Player, Icon Moments Player SBCs, and we did have the Icon Moments Upgrade Pack that was re released yesterday. I think it's a little bit expensive. It's not as hyped as the player pick option. Uh, if this was an Icon Moments Player Pick, it'd be so much more hype. Even I feel like the Prime Player Pick was more exciting than this for most people. Um, you know, those are kind of the only SBCs you can grind right now. But if you plan to try to pack Team of the Season cards, or there's anybody that you want to pack in general from any of these tot squads, you know, going in and stocking up your club with some of these gold rares is probably a good idea. They're they're basically discard. You can get them at 650 for the gold rares. And then I think the gold non rares are probably like four to 500 coins for most of these leagues as well. 500 coins for the Bundesliga right now, just searching a random one. Stock your club on these today if you plan to do some upgrade packs because those will most likely rise if we get an 80 plus player pick or an 81 plus player pick. There will be a decent amount of demand for those as people do want to pack team of the seasons and they're very packable, right? These cards have a high drop rate. We've seen how low their prices are on the market. Some of these guys just continue to drop lower now, not without fluctuations though. And that's what I want to move into kind of talking about next is um, just how are these cards going to move today? Because 
we had a few of these TOTS cards rise up pretty nicely from Saturday into Sunday. And if I show you some graphs right now, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about is last night when we were looking at a few of these cards, uh, Fred, I did end up buying. He had a pretty nice bounce. This Anthony was one of the best ones though. He went all the way down to about 200,000 coins on the PlayStation, 170 on the Xbox. Later in the day, he goes 230 on PS and back to 200K on the Xbox. So both consoles yesterday, you saw cards get low Saturday night and rise into Sunday. Now, again, like I mentioned, it is Monday, it looks like he was almost down to 200K again uh, and not as low as last night on either console, Xbox or the PlayStation um, tonight on Sunday night heading into Monday today. But um, I, I mean, I do think that you'll see a few of these cards rebound back. So that's what I'd be looking for. Now, I'd be very, very careful with a few items. I just don't think that it's going to be a mass market rise. Like a lot of times what we've seen, we saw this during Foot Captains um, and, you know, a lot of the promos that we've seen earlier on this year. Like remember this Mario Gomez, the first day that he was out on Sunday, he dropped down Sunday night really, really low, then exploded on Monday morning. It doesn't show on the graph here, but he was like 420,000 coins, 430,000 coins, and then he went to like 500K uh, on, that, uh, on that Monday morning of the first time he was in PAX during Foot Captains. You know, I, I don't think you're going to have as drastic of a rise on these TOTS cards because they've been supplied so much already and they're in a part of weekend league rewards. But again, like Anthony was down at 200k flat. Um, you know, even this Wishnall is down a decent amount or Windall. I say his name terribly every time. You don't say Wishnaldum, right? You say Wynaldum. I got to work on that. Anyway, sorry to my to my Dutch fans out there that I'm pronouncing the name so terribly. But anyways, um, you, you know Zaha 345, that's kind of piquing my interest a little bit because, yeah, he's down. Um, Zaha was 348 last night, but he didn't really rise up that high. He went to 375. So there's not a lot of profit in that. I would have liked to see him go lower. So I don't know if I'm going to risk it that much on cards um, this evening uh, or this morning heading into the Monday time frame just because I don't know how much rise in the market there's going to be with the fact that um, the weekend league rewards are not just given out. Now, I do think that that plays a big factor on why we see the markets rise so much on Monday mornings usually is because EA gives out the weekend league rewards then. And of course, people are getting coins, people are getting, um, you know, packs and they're opening those up and they're getting coins from opening those packs. And that's why the markets, I think, usually rise on Mondays because people get that extra content, they get those coins and they go out and they buy cards to put into their teams. And right now we're not getting that today on Monday. So with the rises that we maybe will see on the market, I think they're gonna be a bit more, um, they're gonna be smaller, they're not gonna be as drastic. I just don't think there's as much of a push to buy teams today because a lot of people like myself included are still in the middle of the weekend league. Now, of course, um, there are people that are still playing and people that are done as well. So it's just, it's weird because it's spread out. And again, I'm probably gonna take a bit of a backseat on buying TOTS cards today. Unless I see some prices get really low tonight or something, uh, I'm probably going to take a back seat on it because, you know, this is the first week that we've seen. Once we see what happens today on Monday, tomorrow on Tuesday, and how this week kind of plays out, that should give us a better indication of how the market is going to move um, for the next couple of weeks during, you know, each of these leagues that come out during TOTS. Um, 147 for Gravenberch right now. He was really, really high earlier yesterday, uh, but he was also really low couple nights ago. So I'm going to watch on this grab and see if he goes any lower than low one fours. But yeah, I'm just going to be careful with flipping the tots card today for the rest of the market. I think it's pretty safe to flip because if you have a card that is getting low, that is out of packs. Um, wow. Lacazette is really high. Robbie Keane has a moment of rarity here, but Cordoba, um, Cordoba is a little bit low. Actually, this is crazy because center backs have been down. And this is where the next point that I want to take a look at is this Cordoba is really consistently between you know, 890 and 925,000 coins. I'm actually going to go take a look at this right now because we had a center back SBC that was dropped on the game yesterday. And I would be very surprised if people are panic selling a Cordoba card because of that one, 855. That's really, really low. That's really, really low, but there's not a lot of profit in that. So maybe I'll try to see if we can catch one more undercut in this Cordoba. And I think he's going to be over 900K tomorrow morning. But some of your other center backs in this game, let me give you a few examples of cards that are down right now. Denayer, 
Jason Denayer is down. He was like 120,000 coins yesterday. Right now, the man is 80K. He's like 81, 82,000 coins, I believe, on the market, all because of the Boscagli French center back SBC. This plays in perfectly with what people are doing right now in FIFA. They're trying out some cards, but this has a really easy link up in a lot of people's teams, right? He's French. And he's an Eredivisie. So people that want to try out Eredivisie Tots cards, since they're so cheap, but still have really good stats. And they want to link it up in their team, make a little bit of a hybrid connection with other French meta specials that they might have. This guy's a shoe in Four-star weak foot as well. That's kind of cool. This SBC is only like 20,000 coins. And the card doesn't look insane, but he looks cool. And it's so cheap to do. And you saw a lot of the PSV links and some of the other Air Divisi links actually rise up a little bit yesterday. And that's how you know that an SBC is very hyped, right? And a lot of people are wanting to do it because A, well, this is what we also see. We look on Footbin and we see 1,800 thumbs up. But what really speaks volumes is all of these center backs that are going down in price, especially on like the under 200K price range. This dude's 58K on Xbox. Oh my gosh. Like, look at this. On Saturday, Denaire was 138,000 coins. And now today, after even more droppings in price, he's 83, 82,000 coins. Lucas Hernandez, the road to the final, which is no longer live, Lucas Hernandez, um, it was 215k, I believe, 230. Went all the way down to 187, and he's still kind of there right now. Now, here's what I'll say about this. That Bull Skagley SBC is cool right now, but for some of these cards, like a Lucas Hernandez, we've got uh, Bundesliga Tots that is not very far away. I picked a couple of these up. If, if, if he's actually as rare as Flippin says he is, then I should probably be buying more of these. But there's a decent amount of these back up at 200,000 coins. I was trying to pick these up in the low to mid 180s. And I did snag one, I think, at like 184K. Thought that was pretty cheap. Now, I think some of these guys will bounce back a little bit, right? Especially looking at that Cordoba card, as I was just doing right now. Seeing 850K for this seems ridiculously cheap. Why would you panic sell? a 900,000 coin center back for a 23,000 coin center backs SBC. That I don't really believe in. So that's why on a rare card that is popular and meta like a Cordoba like this, you know, an 840 like on this bid right here, I would buy that. If that comes back around and I'm able to, to bid on it, you know, I think that I would be able to sell this Cordoba over 900,000 coins most likely today. Kimpembe, right? Another French center back. You're like, Nate, are people actually selling Kimpembe? to go and, and get this SBC? The answer is yes. I mean, the answer is, look at Kimpembe. Kimpembe was 450,000 coins on the weekend and a new French center back SBC comes out and this dude's three, 375, 380? That's ridiculous, man. And this card is still one of the most meta and overpowered center backs in the game. I also think that PSG links are not hurting at the moment, but they're just not as popular. So that's why a card like this Kimpembe, I'm keeping him in my radar as well. If you're going to buy any of these center backs and hope for a bounce back later on, basically what you're hoping for is um, just that both Skagley card to kind of get forgotten about. And as new cards come out and as the meta kind of returns, people get coins later on in the week from the weekend league rewards, then you, you would hope that a card like this, just based off of rarity and the amount that it's dropped since he's down like 60k you would hope that he would bounce back from like 380 to like 425,000 coins and then it would be a good move right that's the sort of thing that we're looking for with some of these cards the more rare ones obviously are going to fluctuate better so that's kind of what's going on with the center back market at the moment a lot of your um your air divisi tots did really really well with that SBC dropping yesterday as well. Let me take a look at a couple of these. Of course, you've got a nice green link and a TOTS card that a lot of people want to try out with Ibrahim Sangare. He had the headliners earlier on this year. I believe his TOTS card is 65,000 coins at the moment. Um, and he was like 50K yesterday before Ball Skagley came out. And now this guy is 65K. I think if you even take a look at the the Windall, see, there we go. Better pronunciation on the left back's name. Windall yesterday was 23K, rose up to about 29, and then exploded to about 40,000 coins when that Boss Skagley came out. Now he's back down to about 28,000 coins again, which is very interesting because maybe he'll rise up a little bit more today. Maybe Sangari will rise up a little bit more as well. He is 65K. Looks like that might have been a bit of an undercut, but he's gone from like 50K up to 82 as a green link to Boscagli um, and still a really hype and usable meta card. And now he's down a little bit more. So, you know, maybe a few of these cards will rise up a bit today just with those links. Um, you know, Anthony, 
Oh, here's one I'll be very careful about. I would be careful with Timber because, again, he's kind of like, again, a substitute item. He went from 160, where he is right now, all the way up to 218. Well, Skagley came out and he's been dropping ever since because people are maybe selling this Timber card to go and use Boss Skagley. So it's, again, like a substitute type of item that was dropped on the market yesterday. So just be kind of careful with those cards. But I think you might see some, some cards move a bit um, just because of the hype links. And, uh, you know, I, this Sangari card for me, if he's like 62K, then I will think about it. I know I see those 64K undercuts right there, but I think it's got to be a little bit cheaper for me because realistically, does this guy go over 80,000 coins again today? I would be surprised if he did because, um, again, like I said, I just don't know how much team building and team buying there's going to be on the market today with how things are shaping up with the reward structure and everything along those lines. So I'm going to probably keep it pretty chill with some of these cards. Now, if I see a Cordoba at 840, like I mentioned, I'm going to try to get a quick flip off there. There's 850 flat. So that's kind of low. Maybe on some of these other center backs, I'll keep an eye on their prices and a couple other air Divisi cards as well. But like I said, I'm going to keep it pretty chill. I'm going to have to get the club stocked with some rare golds because I'm ready to do some player picks today. Now, other content that we might see today on Monday, there's still potential for a guaranteed team of the season. Let's talk fodder for a second. I know a lot of you guys like Nate. Talk about fodder, please. What should I do with this stuff? Um, yesterday, we had the Icon Moments Upgrade Pack, which it's an upgrade pack. It is repeatable two times. It just doesn't have as much hype as a player pick, right? We know that. People love Icon player picks in this game. 560K. It's got an 86% downvote um, and only a 14% upvote. So people are not as big of a fan of this. But guess what? People are going to do it because there's not really that many other SBCs. And this is like the only gamble pack that is out right now. High rated fodder is what was required for this. And if you guys bought any of the 88s, if you club stocked any of them, I think that these cards are going to be in the, a sell in the next two or three days. I don't foresee any other type of SBC coming out this week that will make your 87 plus cards rise that much higher. Yes, I know Tony Cruz is 24,000 coins. You're like, Nate, I'm making bank. I bought this guy at like 18K on Saturday when he was at his absolute lowest. A lot of these 88 rated cards were 18 to 19,000 coins on Friday night and Saturday. Now they're up to 24, 25. If you don't want to hold on to them and continue holding on for them for like another week or two and wait for Premier League tots, then I think I think you could take a sell price if you wanted to because these cards are most likely just like they did on the weekend. The ones that are in packs uh, and all the 88 rated in general, I think you're going to see their prices dropping off with even more packs are going to be open this Friday with um, the... Premier League team of the season items coming into packs. People are going to open their saved up packs because that's where a lot of people open those. They've been waiting to open their packs. Like some people open this past weekend, but a lot of people are going to open this weekend as well. So I think it's going to hurt the higher tier fodder for sure. And um, yeah, you know, it, it, it will it go back to 18K? It might not go that low. It might go back to 20,000 coins, but you know, that's, I think you could take the money on some of these cards if you want to, right? Lewandowski was like 47K. He's now 55. Harry Kane was like 32K. He's now 37. So that area of the fodder market, I think is um, high enough to take the cash for a quick flip if you want to. Now, this part of the market is looking ripe for picking. 85 rates are back down to 7K. 84 rates are 3.5K. This is the opposite. I think there is going to be demand this week for the lower tier side of the market because guaranteed TOTS SBCs are still on our radar. They have not dropped yet, of course. We do expect them to drop. Um, they have been added to the code. We even saw um, new squad battle rewards. Speaking of stuff added to the code, I'm going to cover that really quickly at the end of this video. Um, but I think that either today, tomorrow, we basically have four days. The next four days are all potential days for when they could drop a guaranteed TOTS. Watch out for the leaks because I guarantee you a lot of guaranteeing going on right now. I, I can guarantee you that, you know, Foot Sheriff and those guys on Twitter are going to be talking about those guaranteed SBCs uh, around the time they're going to go out. They're going to get leaks that those cards are going to be added up and those SBCs, not those cards, but those SBCs are going to be added into the game um, before that actually happens. So I think those are going to be, I don't know, it's it's really tough to say, but once we see when they're going to be this week for the Air Divisi and Community Tots guaranteed, then we'll know going down the line how those um, guaranteed SBCs are most likely going to work out. So a lot of question marks realistically on this market right now, uh, because of course it's the first week of Tots, but like we know, 
team of the season is all based around a schedule. So if we see how it works this week, then we're probably going to get a lot of insight on how these cards are going to move and operate and stuff like that next week and in the weeks to come as we continue through every single week of team of the season and as we get brand new tots cards and all that good stuff released in this game. Oh, last thing, squad battle rewards. If you guys have extra time this week and you like to grind squad battles, uh, EA has put red picks and, and basically um, packs that give you red versions of cards. Actually, it's not a complete red version, but you can see here there's a couple different things. There's player picks for the red TOTS cards. Um, depending on how high you, you have to get elite to get a community slash air divisi tots tr player untradeable. There's no rating cap on elite three plus, but if you get gold one, it's max 90. I think the play is to get silver one because you get a max 90 overall player, which could get you a guy like Timber, Kalkare. There's a, there's a lot of great cards that are 90 rated or below. Silver one's going to be really, really easy to do. It's going to take you more games this week than it would in, in weeks prior. But like myself, I need to get a few objectives games done for icon swaps um, or for like I need to finish the MLS foundations, which expires really, really soon. But all I have to do is play five separate squad battles matches with some MLS players in my starting 11. And it's going to be worth my time to, you know, match up and against some lower level teams and squad battles just because I get points towards extra rewards and I'm completing objectives at the same time. So it, if you haven't started your icon swaps yet or if you haven't finished them like I haven't here, I'm still working on my first owner English doing those inside of this next week and maybe even the few weeks upcoming. Playing squad battles, you do get a lot better of a grind, a reward for your grind with those updated rewards. So that's kind of everything going on in FIFA at the moment. Again, I'm not expecting a huge market rise today. I think just a little bit. Some cards will go up some, um, but it's not going to be that drastic, although you might be able to make some trades out of it. But the big thing today is the upgrade packs, and I'm really excited to see what EA drops because I want to rip some packs, and I want to pack some blues. you got to get this Tots counter sorted down below uh, on the screen. So we're going to do that very, very soon. But if you did enjoy today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the Count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.